Welcome back to more Dangan Run, but who goodbye to Spar. Good night, he says. Whatever, I have a party to attend. I could care less. All right, time to go to the old building by the hotel. Damn right it is. Party time. Well, then again, Hajime's a sourpuss, so I'm surprised he agreed to it. Oh my my! Oh, are you also here for the party? Why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing at a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Teru Teru's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Oh, well, um, be ready for some innuendos. <laughs> That's just, uh, par for the course, I guess, of Teru Teru. <laughs> so what time for the party? <laughs> I'm really excited. Uh, I'll do my best not to be in the way, so it's fine of us to stay here, right? Are you really worrying about something like that? Yes. Oh, wow. I'll let Fuyuhiko know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. Well, Fuyuhiko can go be a sourpuss by himself. We're gonna have some fun. We aren't gonna let it get to us. So this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for the wear. You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Because I need to do a body check. Why else? But body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to make or take all possible security measures. Listen. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I, I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Fiyoko went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way up. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I haven't. I'm just here to party. That's fine. Very well. I shall allow you to enter. Hmm? It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Fiyoko was standing. Metal cases? What? It's really them, actually. I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for... Well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean emergencies? Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Bioka turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk. <laughs> okay, but... He's so cautious, I didn't expect him to perform a body check. And what did he mean by emergencies only? Mm, I guess we'll find out if there's an emergency. I sure hope there isn't, though. Because emergencies are never fun in this game. Oh, it's Nekumaru. Uh -oh. Or, Nekumaru. Yeah, I got that right. That's a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. Jeez. Whoever Biakyo will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head there as well. Yeah, wise words. I think I will. Oh, Hajime, how do you like it? What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet, too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. yep. I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. There's a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Oh, okay, let's talk to everybody then. Whoa. That creep Biakuya rubbed his ham hands all over me, and he called me a... Oh. Yeah, that's about right. And he called me... called it a body check. 
Or like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys too. So, I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Eh? <laughs> he had pretty in demand, you know. You're just kidding. Oh, Jesus. Such a big table. Will the dishes be placed here too? Hmm, probably. Hey, Chiaki. I'm worried about Monoguma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. We gotta do something about it. You're right, we should do something. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. Or, or this is getting us nowhere. So we're on the same page then. I'm not sure if I understand. Hmm. This whole place is sure run down. I feel bad Nagito went to all this trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. Sure, check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrank because of the deterioration? Ne deterioration? Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. Hey. But it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. <laughs> Even though it took me the entire day just to clean this hall, I'm glad everyone's so happy. That's good to hear. Gondem, how are you doing, my friend? Instinct. Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Kazuichi Soda! Man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting groped so thoroughly by a man, that was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check. How annoying! Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how freaking annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport. Carrying around calms me down. Well, he is the ultimate mechanic. But Biakuya put it in that Derillium case of his. Aw, man. <laughs> I feel you, man. If someone took my 3DS, I'd cry. Oh, jeez. She's drooling. Hey, what's up? Drooling. It's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. She's in a trance, I tell you. There are a lot of fancy looking party dishes on the table. There are tables toward the front. Yes, yes there is. Is there anything else we can look at? There's this, I guess. Iron plates? That reminds me, I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. But why are there iron plates bolted onto the walls? How pitiful. All is not what it appears to be. Eh? Stay back. One of my four devas, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy, has seen what a lie shrouded amidst the darkness. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window? There are no windows in this dining hall at all. I assume these iron plates are covering them up. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is my domain. Hmm, Sandy, it appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day, countless lives gasp for their first breath, and countless more will go the way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know, and he's kind of ignoring us. <laughs> well, this building is in the middle of a renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it, but... This place sure has a creepy atmosphere because of that. Agreed. Suddenly we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent progenist ring throughout the hot dining hall. Thank you for waiting. Hm. Taro Taro is in the kitchen, and it appears Fuyuhiko did not come. I apologize. I apologize. I didn't inform him about the party, but... Jeez. It's not like you need to apologize, Pekko. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, and but... It's fine, it's just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. What do you mean by that? What? More importantly, hmm... Come on. Hey, what's that? An intense expression spread across Byokuya's face as he looked at the table of various food dishes- Oh god, no, th please no, Byokuya. Wait for everybody else. Not possible. Dangerous! Wait, what? Food's dangerous now? As he stomped his way towards the table, I love that. Bum, 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 bum. The day, what are you doing? 
Well, that makes a lot more sense now they look at those. You're hogging all the food! No fair! No, I'm not! I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out! I'm telling you, I'm not... Look carefully at this dish. Looks like delicious roasted meat! And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? It's an iron skewer. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. Hello there. Hey, looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the- Huh? Oh, huh? Some messy eater ruined my arrangement! Hmm. Who made this dish? Um... That would be me, but um... Are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting, cooking with such dangerous items? No, 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 no. dangerous, that's churrisco! A churrisco? It's a South American meal where you stab meat on an iron skewer to cook it! It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. <laughs> These iron skewers are a problem. Why? Uh, iron skewers aren't allowed either. If that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Uh, why me? It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. <laughs> At least I get something. Yakuya's face wore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. He sure tried hard. That's all I have to say. Let's go. There. All right, this is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there are no dangerous items. Thoroughly, huh? Yakuya stomped in the kitchen, and I followed after him. Let's get on with it, then search this place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Byakuya began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Hmm. Look, I found these. There are forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me those two. They are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Byakuya threw the forks and knives into the Duralium case one after the other. You're being very thorough about this. Mmm, meat. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Seafood dishes, too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone. That Terra Terra, he sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'd be able to eat that much food. I see. It seems there are no dangerous items like that skewer in the churrisco earlier inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Phew, I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. Then again, I remember hearing a story where a housewife killed her husband with a leg of lamb, then cooked it and fed it to some cops, so... Eh, that's still a possibility. Well, here's the rest of the knives. There appears to be various types of knives, but these... Out of the question, knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me, I'll safeguard them. Byakuya grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it into the Rillium case with the rest. Uh, of course. Um, what else is there? What else is there? There's a few things here. I don't really see too much else. Hmm, this can count the TV as a dangerous item. Hey, is it necessary to go this far? I'm doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really, is that all? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. I can't help but think there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've been a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person? <laughs> hmm. I don't really like to talk about my past, but... It's fine. I'll just tell you a little bit of it. <laughs> I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. But Yakuya has a past he can't talk about? Hmm. Distrusting others and being distrustful in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but, in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. For to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, that past you mentioned... That's enough. Now is not the time. 
However, one day, there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I'll have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within his ma- or within him, deeper than I thought he'd have. Such silly talk. Hey, enough of that unnecessary banter. We'd better hurry up and find the rest of those dangerous items. Y yeah, got it. Even so, he sure works us hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. What else can we consider dangerous in here? Oh, that might help. Um, this paper is... I see. I see, it appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, and 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Hmm. Iron plates and a portable stove, I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. The kitchen seems to be well kept, there should be no problems using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive compared to a normal restaurant. It's not too shabby. Very strange. But it's strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. Huh? Huh? Why? Why? The kitchen's a mess. What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Huh? Oh, there are no knives or forks. Why? How come? Don't make me repeat myself. I literally just said I removed all the dangerous items. You're kidding. Oh, tell me you're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items. Oh, no, 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 well, Most of the dishes are finished. All I gotta do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem, but... But, but still... Ah, Hajime! Eh? Huh? No, no, that sort of thing. Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me, I'm the one who's depressed here. Hey, before you start getting all flirty, explain this. Oh, that... As far as I know, it's been missing from the Stop store. it! Get off me! No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in an old building, right? If it's been missing all along, we really can't do anything about it, right? list and there seems to be one iron You're right, there's missing. no place to hide such a long skewer anyways. Very well, all I need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. All right, let's go back. The other should be waiting for us. You two, Teru Teru, come to the dining hall for now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. Ah, uh. oh, they're finally back. Hey, hey. Hey, let's eat already. I'm starving. Hmm. There's still an issue we need to discuss first. Lies. Ah, uh, an issue. Oh. Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word and I'll do it for ya. That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is where to safeguard this Duralium case that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Can't we just leave it in here? Hmm. I've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but... We should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Um... Someplace safe? Oh, there is a storage room at the back of this old building. I see. A storage room, hmm? Even so, we can't leave this case alone in there. Then... Then someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, right? Aww. Yeah. And someone should guard it, that'd keep it safe, yes? Eh, who, who? I'll do it, of course. Uh, <laughs> Are you sure? I guess if you insist, just kidding. Aww. It'll be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I don't mind, I'm really not that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> Uh -huh. If I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However, however, Teru Teru has gone to the trouble of cooking. Is it all right for me to bring some of it with me? Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. But, but if you're going to do guard duty anyways, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. And eh, why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of cobwebs and stuff, it's hard to see in there. <laughs> I kind of said that backwards, didn't I? But whatever, same meaning. Also, it's so busy. I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stay in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. I see. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit breaker in there too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. 
Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. Understood, so I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then, I should get going. Have fun tonight, everyone. Taking with her the Duralium case and a plate filed of food. Peko left the dining hall. Mmm, see, see Peko's back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got a super cool melancholy vibe. Huh? But shouldn't she have taken that other case with her too? <laughs> this. No, this case is fine. That's weird. Yeah, no fair, you're like the only one that got to bring their own stuff. Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> When you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen. Mr. William Case stays with me at all times. I put the key onto the other case in here as well. We'll take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. More importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's start the party. Stop talking. No, there's still more. I'm gonna do it! Ugh, who do you want me to beat the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already. Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh? Are you talking about... Right. Monokuma, of course. He's the one thing that could obviously disrupt this party. I'll show you my serious... All right! So you'll uh, let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Hold on! Wait a second, if you pick a fight with that thing, you're just going to end up perforated. No! Are you telling... Are you telling me to wait till I starve to death? Starved to death, that's a little extreme. Our opponent is not someone we can just fight, rather, it's better if we use our heads and think of a plan. Hey, hey. I'll do something about it. What? Do something, you. Hey, hey. Hey now, what can I do a girl like you do? You're just gonna put yourself in danger. Nope. I won't. It's not like I'll personally do something. You won't? <laughs> do you intend to utilize a mono me? Yep. Yeah, if I can talk her into helping us. She might be able to keep Mono Kuma at bay. I almost said Monomi again. At least that's what I think. Uh, that was probably a good idea. She looks like the type that can be easily manipulated. Oh, that's terrible. But it's probably true. Oh. Plus, Monomi and Mono Kuma totally have a rivalry going on. <laughs> that's a pretty one-sided rivalry. Are you okay? But will you be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. The question is, how fast can she run? Well then, I'll be going now. What is this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. You and me both, Hajime. It's like I have a bad feeling about this, but... Something feels off. So it's all settled, right? Then we can. <laughs> right, let's begin. Alright! Fine. <laughs> so the banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> you better keep me entertained. And with that, the party started. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. But whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating! <laughs> I, I can't stop! Oh. That laugh. <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. That's rather scary. Oh, agreed. You're not eating? Then I'm gonna eat all this by myself! I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey, everyone. While we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow, that sounds wonderful. Please do! I'll take a picture of my own. Click! This feels weird. Yeah, I'm just waiting for something bad to happen. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now, it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight together. Friends who've developed a sense of unity. <laughs> Hey, Nekumaru, did something happen? The, the party just started, but... I must return to my cottage. Come on. Don't be foolish, I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop me! Don't stop me, Byakuya. There comes a time when a man knows he's gotta go. If I don't go now, it would shame me as a man. Sure. 
Shitting my pants would be a total shame. What? <laughs> would totally shame me as a man. So he was talking about the toilet. What? If you need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? I've been trying to use mine it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What? What is this blasphemy? <laughs> what now? Impossible! M my hellhound earring has disappeared. Did it vanish into subspace? <laughs> Calm down, you probably just dropped it somewhere. Shit. Oh shit, I'm gonna shit! Quiet! Shut up, don't you dare! Oh, nice. oh, hey, is this really alright if I eat all this? Don't be an idiot, make sure you leave some for me. Come on! Hey, Biakuya, everyone, come here. I want to, I'm gonna take a picture. Alright, say cheese! Snap. Hey, what can't you, or why can't you all act a little more mature? What? Hmm, what was that sound just now? Huh? It's dark all of a sudden. <gasps> it's a blackout! B blackout? Yeah, blackout. Hey, I can't see anything. In that instant, as we stumbled around in the darkness, our fear swallowed us up like a flood. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! Zip a day. The sounds of screams and frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall. And were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! What the hell? What's going on here? Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us with complete darkness. Complete darkness. Therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes will adjust. This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Oh, wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Within the darkness, we fervently walked or waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally. Zep! Ah, oh, okay, they're back on, yay. At that moment, when the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. <gasps> that That is... Mikan's appearance had been... Comp pr compromised? Oh, I'm sorry! I missed you again! Well, there, there's some egg, there's some delicious food... Wait a second, how did you manage this one? Seriously? How do you trip and land like that? And the ultimate fan service strikes again. No! Please don't! Please don't look at me! <laughs> I can't take this at all! My hero! It's time to snatch some shots! There, there's no way I can do that! Koizumi has more composure. Please forgive me! Just forgive me already! Everyone, I think it would be best if we help her already. Probably, we're all just sitting here staring at her. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry for all this trouble, so sorry. Hey. My question is, how did she tie herself up with sausage links? Yeah, from now on, just be careful. Huh? Oh, I'm glad. The lights are back on here, too. Yay! So you were the one who fixed the breaker, Kazuichi. You were unusually useful this time. Hey. Well, no, I couldn't find my way to the office with that circuit breaker. Huh? And then, why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Are you stupid? Don't who knows me, you're so useless. <sighs> That's not my fault, you know, there's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness. Oh my! What happened? Sonia, did something happen? Um... No, Byakuya's missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Huh? Byakuya? Oh no, we immediately looked around the dining hall, sure enough. The Yokuya, who promised he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? Th that's weird, he was here earlier, right? Um... Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? No, Yokuya wouldn't do that. 
in that pitch blackness? Hey. I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. I'll look in the storage room, so can I ask you to check the entrance, Hajime? Y yeah, I got it. For now. Then, I guess I'll go look in the office. Then... I should go look around the hallway. Oh. I'll wait here, since I'm kind of in the middle of eating anyways. He's still gonna eat while this is going on? I must bathroom. I must man up and check the bathroom. I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez, Jeez Mr. Ham Hands ran away just because there was an itty bitty blackout. <laughs> mm -hmm. Such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did Piyakuya go? That's a good question. Um, I believe I have to go check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chiaki was there. Oh, I hope nothing bad happened. I always say this and then something bad does happen. Monomi? Chiaki and Monomi are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Huh, Hajime? What about the party? Oh, uh... What? It's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Byakuya pass by here? Nope. Byakuya? Nope, I didn't. But what happened to Byakuya? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building and Byakuya vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope, nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, he might have, or we might have missed each other. I think. That's what I think. Hmm, so he's not outside. He didn't leave the building. Hey. Oh, Hajime, how'd it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said he hadn't gone outside. That's... Th that's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. Hmm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. No one was in the office. It is strange, no? Nobody was in the office. That's weird. Huh? What about Pekko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Pekko was there. Huh? Yeah, pekko has gone too. Hmm. Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done. Oh. Oh. You're truly outrageous! Mm hmm. Um, Did something happen, Akane? It smells... Well, do any of you smell something? Well, oh, when we partly digested food is absorbed by the small intestine, it's decomposed by bacteria releasing gas. Which is mostly absorbed in the external ultra. Okay, we do not need to know about this, Mikan. Yes. Those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's not like that. No, I'm not talking about that. Wait. It smells like blood. Blood? As Akane's nose twitched like a beast, she suddenly pointed. It's coming from over there. A table at the very back of the dining hall. No, 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 no. Please, no. <laughs> I almost don't want to look. The smell of blood? What in the world is at that table? It's under there. Under the table. I dashed towards the table at the back, reached out towards the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. Oh, for fuck's sakes. No! The one person I was gonna hang out with when I was finished with my awesome, awesome breeder friend. For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. Like, how did Byakuya die? No! What I saw, what I saw, the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami, already dead and beyond recognition. Chapter 1, Destination Despair, Deadly Life. Yaku, 
I just stood there, horrified, as showers of screams rang out behind me. As I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Why? Why? Anyways, that's where we're gonna end it for today. If you did enjoy this episode of Danganron Badoo, goodbye to spare. Please do leave a like and or a comment to show your support. And subscribe to my channel if you yet to do so. My sturs friends, peace out, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Danganron but 2, goodbye to spare. Oh, Biakuya! Yeah.